Ever feel like ChatGPT isn't quite hitting the mark? It's giving you generic answers or missing the nuance that you're looking for. Everyone's using ChatGPT these days, but 90% of users never touch these five crucial settings. And the thing is, these simple tweaks are what separate amateurs from true AI power users. The magic is in the settings. Did you know you can actually mold ChatGPT to fit your exact needs? Let's dial in your ChatGPT settings so you get the AI results that you deserve. The first thing you wanna do is turn off data sharing. This setting is on by default and it will improve the model for everyone if left on. But that also means that OpenAI will collect and use your personal conversations to train future models. So best left off. Here's how to do that. From the ChatGPT home screen, you'll click on your profile picture, then go to settings, data controls, and select improve the model for everyone. It will be on by default, but you'll just slide this toggle over to turn that off and then choose done. Next up, custom instructions. You can tell ChatGPT how you want it to talk to you by setting up custom instructions. These instructions stay the same for all of your chats. This is really useful if you run a business and ask ChatGPT a lot of questions about your work. Let's say your business has a specific tone or style and you want ChatGPT to always respond in that way. You would include your brand voice description in custom instruction. Brand voice is just your brand's unique personality and how you communicate it to your audience. For example, I have an AI consultancy firm. Here's how my company's brand voice is defined. AI Empowerment Now is an inclusive, approachable, and inspiring leader in AI education, focusing on empowering beginners and businesses to use AI technology effectively. Tone and style is friendly and conversational while maintaining professionalism. Avoid jargon, empowering and positive, encourage and motivate the audience. Highlight benefits and potential of AI. Use positive and uplifting language. Use relatable examples and analogies break down complex topics in simple, straightforward ways that can be understood at a fifth grade level. Action-oriented descriptions. Use verbs that inspire engagement. Bonus tip, you can use AI to come up with your brand voice. Type this prompt into any AI or large language model to get started. The words inside the brackets are the terms that you'll fill in based on your specific brand. Those are called variables. The third way to improve ChatGPT results with settings is to customize settings inside projects. This is a little bit more advanced, but fantastic when applied correctly. Projects are OpenAI's workspace feature that lets you organize your conversations by topic or purpose. But with the right custom instructions in place, you can turn a project into an automated process that saves you countless hours each week. Truly, this is a game changer. Check this out. When I get a request for a sponsorship in my inbox, I snap a screenshot, then upload that screenshot into my ChatGPT project, aptly named Sponsored Email Responder. I don't need to add any additional context. The AI knows to draft two responses for me and to include my YouTube sponsorship rates. I then choose which response I prefer, adjust if needed, and send the email back to the potential sponsor. That entire process takes about four minutes. So what's going on under the hood? Since I've included custom instructions inside the project's knowledge base, ChatGPT automatically knows what to do without me needing to explain every single time. Here's how you can do it. I'll even include my exact instructions so that you can copy my homework. Oh, and I'm Tam, by the way. If you've learned something new so far, hit that subscribe button. It's free and it helps me help you. To set custom instructions within projects, you'll go to the sidebar and then select the project that you wanna work on. Here's the sponsor email. In my custom instructions, I have this project will be executed step-by-step. Step. When I submit an image of an email or copy and paste an email I received into the context window, you will respond with step two. Next, I will select an output. Then you will respond with step three using the content I have just selected. 
select it. The goal of this project is to draft response emails about sponsorship opportunities for my YouTube channel. Below are the specific steps to follow. Step one, initial input. Pasted email, text, or screenshot, or image attached with context of initial email that we need to respond to. Step two, draft two email responses in the style and tone mentioned in your knowledge base. Be sure to include the sponsor rates as described in the document titled YouTube Sponsor Rates for AI Optimist as of May 2025 in your knowledge base. Once I've responded with my preferred draft, proceed to step three. Step three, open the draft in Canvas. These are all the different ones that I've done in the past. And in project files, if I click in, you can see here's my YouTube sponsor rates for AI Optimist. You can create that in a Word document or in Apple Notes and then export it as a PDF and then just load it in here. It's so easy to do. I actually have a full video on how to create custom step-by-step -step projects like this within ChatGPT. So I'll put that up on the screen if you wanna check that out. Moving on to setting number four, memory. It's hidden in your settings and disabled by default. But the crazy part is, enabling this one toggle can cut your prompt writing time in half and get you dramatically better results every single time. Imagine having an AI that actually remembers your preferences, past conversations, and writing style without you having to explain yourself. That's what the memory feature delivers, a digital assistant that evolves with you rather than starting from scratch with each new chat. This isn't just a minor upgrade. It's a huge difference between constantly training a new employee versus working with someone who's been by your side for years. First, check if it's on. You can see if memory is enabled in your ChatGPT settings. If it's on, the AI will start remembering things you share across all of your chats. The more you use ChatGPT with this feature on, the better your AI assistant gets at predicting your needs. But don't worry, if there's something you wanna ask ChatGPT that you don't want stored in memory, you can tap this incognito button and your conversation won't be stored. Pro tip, you can also tell ChatGPT what to remember. This works best with clear, simple instructions, like my dog's name is Ronan, forget about my last trip to Paris. That's just an example, I've never actually been to Paris, unfortunately. Taking this a step further, I found if you cram it with the right info, every conversation runs more smoothly. What's the right info? Here's a visual representation of my AI memory cheat sheet. I've created this using ChatGPT's newish native images feature. You can use memory to your advantage by having it track hobbies, goals, and preferences. And make sure to refine memory occasionally so that it matches your needs because our needs are always changing. For example, I recently told ChatGPT to update its memory to reflect that I've launched a new YouTube channel that helps creators grow faster on social media. With memory, every interaction builds on your unique digital relationship with ChatGPT. And it makes you wonder, what kind of assistant would it become after learning from you for a year? This brings us to the fifth way to make AI work harder for you, model selection. Technically not a setting, but knowing which model to use for which task is crucial to getting better results from ChatGPT or really any large language model. But having to switch between AI models can be confusing. OpenAI and other AI companies are aware of this and working to create a router that would automatically route your questions to the correct model. But for now, it's your job to manually switch models. Here's my oversimplified breakdown of which model is best for which use case. OpenAI also released a PDF recently breaking down model use if you want a more in-depth look. I've linked this document for you in the description. ChatGPT's models can be broken down into two categories, GPTs and reasoning models. Think of a GPT model like a talented, highly versatile conversationalist at a party. ChatGPT 4.0 then is the jack of all trades or the model that you'd use for everyday tasks. But you'll wanna use GPT 4.5 for any writing related tasks. Reasoning models on the other hand are like chess players who specialize in analyzing situations step by step. Reasoning models are best suited for tasks that have a correct answer. This is why they excel at STEM and mathematics. These five settings together create a totally different experience than what most people get. The magic happens when you stop accepting ChatGPT as a one-size-fits-all tool and start customizing it for your unique needs. And the best part? 
It takes just a minute to set up correctly, but transforms your results. These settings unlock ChatGPT's full potential within minutes. Master them, and you'll instantly separate yourself from 90% of users who are still getting mediocre results. If you've stuck around until now, here's your bonus tip. Hit the thumbs up or thumbs down icon under ChatGPT's responses to let the AI know which answer is more useful to you. It seems minor, but this feedback over time helps ChatGPT learn your style. You'll be shocked at how much more personalized and accurate responses are after just a few days of doing this.